Jen, what exactly is garbage? Well, you see, Kim, garbage is any unwanted or undesired material or substance. It can be referred to as rubbish, that's English, trash, that's American, or junk. In the trunk? Could be. Examples include this, this, and this. What? Look what that says. Throw, Throw away. away. You're covering me away. <laughs> it's okay. Do not eat it. Okay? It even tells you just you need to throw it away. Like what kind of what kind of world are we living in? It tells you to throw things away. Like, do they not realize that garbage is bad? Bad. Bad, I tell you. It's very bad. So Kim, who does garbage affect? Well, it affects you. Me? Yes, you. And it affects me. It even affects Mr. Prexel. So it affects all of us. Yes. Valeria, pay attention. Deep, stop talking. And you guys all better be taking notes. <laughs> so Jennifer, how can we limit garbage? Well Kim, did you know that you can limit garbage by recycling? The U.S. recycles 28% of its waste. That's double of what it was 10 years ago. Good job, America. But does recycling even matter? You bet it does. Each ton of recycled paper can save 17 trees, 380 gallons of oil, and 7,000 gallons of water. Oh, now I remember. I've read this thing that, you know, it takes about 95% less energy to make aluminum from recycled materials rather than raw materials. That's wow. So That's so cool. That's a huge difference. We should Can just all imagine? recycle. Why don't you recycle? Recycle those little aluminum foils off the kisses of Hershey's. I mean Hershey's kisses. <laughs> hey Kim. Yeah? Why is garbage a problem? Well, you see, garbage is, well, garbage. It's not wanted. What do you do with things you don't want? You throw them in the garbage. So what the problem is, is that nobody wants this garbage. Where are we going to put it? There is no black hole that it could just disappear into. No black hole. No black hole. It's, it's just a problem because where are we going to put all this garbage that we keep creating? So where can you dispose of this garbage? Well, most garbage is disposed of in landfills. Landfills? Yes, landfills. You know, the fills of land with a bunch of garbage. So, also, um, incineration. A lot of these landfills use incineration, which they burn up the garbage. So they burn it first? Yeah, so it's compacted. But this is some landfills. Some of them, you know, oh. they just burn into the ground. But, you know, these could be problems. We'll discuss that later on. And there's also um, a new idea, shooting these garbage into space. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? We could just shoot it up in a rocket and get the hell out of here, man. I don't know if I was allowed to say that. <laughs> And there's also phytoremediation, which you probably don't know what that is. It's a big word. It's a pretty big word, but we'll teach you later. Yeah. So the question is, when do we need to take a stand against garbage? Yeah, when do we need to take a stand against garbage? Is it not obvious? I'd say now. Now. now.